Hello everyone, today in this tutorial of SketchUp we are going to learn how to make this 3 story building having this land area of 1 ana 2 paisa that is equals to 47.7 square meter or 513.375 feet square and having this floor area of 1 ana that is 31.8 meter square or 342.25 feet square except this veranda area. And this is the complete building tutorial of this SketchUp. So firstly we need to import this file from this AutoCAD. So click on this file and click on this import. And here we need to have this AutoCAD format. And click on this import. So here we have these floor plans. And we need to draw the rectangle over here by the help of this rectangle option. And draw the rectangle over all these portions. Like this. So here is our window portion. So draw the rectangle over all these walls without missing any lines. So here I have drawn all these lines and you can see by help of this move tool. So here I have drawn all these lines except these staircase portions. We have these height of the floor 7.5 feet or 90 inch. So simply press pull it by 90 inch and drag all these lines up to this 90 inch. So press pull all these lines up to 90 inch. So here I need to place the windows over this and this portion. So from this is I'll draw a line up to this midpoint. So I'll drag a offset of 2 feet on both sides. Here also and this bottom side also. And drag a rectangle over this face and press pull it to this end point. Here also I need to draw this small rectangle over this face and press pull it to this end point. Here also do the same thing. And here we can see it is not hollow so simply click on this surface and click on delete from the keyboard so it is hollow and in the staircase portion also I'll draw this small window so from this line drag a line of 1 feet and 7 inch and you can easily draw the rectangle over this face and press split now by help of this eraser tool delete all these extra lines and erase the line from this face also now we need to place these windows so you can easily download the windows from the 3D warehouse so I have downloaded this window for this building so I'll simply move it and you can use this scale tool over here to adjust these windows. So place the windows over all these holes. So here our next step is to draw the staircase so for this I'm just going to draw the rectangle over this face and again double click to make the group. So here, again double click to edit this group, so press pull it. Now again, right click on the mouse and click on this make component. So one of the advantages of these component is if you make chains in one of the component, then all the copies will have the same chains. So I'll just click on that create option. So here we have again four number of the steps. So for this, I'll copy it by help of this M and control key and drag it to this end and again type into four so we will have these four number of the steps so we need to draw the landing over this portion so for this by help of this line tool create the line over these ends so here i have make the line again double click to make a group again double click to edit this group and press pull it but we need the landing in this upward side so just click on this end point and move it to this end point so again draw the rectangle over this face and double click to make a group and again double click to press pull it. So you can again click on this make component. So we need to move this step so I'll simply orbit it and click on this end point of the step and move it here. Again we need four number of the steps here so by help of this M and control key place it here and type into four. So here we will get these steps. So here I have to make a landing over here. So I'm just going to click this landing and click on M and control key and move this to this side. Again move this lower point to this upper point. So here double click on this component and press pull it to this end and it is this extra line. So we have easily created this landing. So we need to make the handrail. So for this I'm going to make the handrail of height 36 inch by the help of this tape tool drag this to 3 inch 
so in this blue axis type 36 inch so again drag the line of 3 inch and draw the line of 36 inch so here also drag a line of 3 inch and in this end also so in this line create the line of 36 inch and on this end also and it must be in the blue axis you can click on this up arrow of this keyboard and type 36 inch and by help of this line tool join all these lines so type C for this circle and on this endpoint draw the radius of 0.5 inch now you can use this follow me tool so click on this follow me tool and drag this line and make this handrail just follow all these paths you need to drag this left click of this mouse so here we can see our guardrail is easily made now double click on this stairs and again drag the line of 3 inch and here also drag a line from the midpoint to this midpoint so you will get this intersection point and draw the circle of 0.5 inch so here we can see all these another stair will also have the same circles and by help of this press pull tool press pull all the circles up to this point so here we can see our handrail is quickly made so here also do the same thing double click on any of the steps drag the tape of 3 inch and here also drag the line up to this midpoint so we will get the intersection and by help of the circle tool type C type 0.5 inch so we have circle in all these stairs in this step we already have this handrail so click on this step and right click and click on this make unique so click on any of these circle and press pull it up to 36 inch so here we have these handrails which are very easy to make and you can edit and delete all the guides now I'm again going to make a group and create copy of this and paste it here so this is our ground floor so we are going to make a living room over this side and we are going to make this bathroom so you can easily download all the material from the 3d warehouse so here I have downloaded all these materials from the 3d warehouse so here you can see that in this living room we have these sofa and TV set I have placed the curtains and in this portion also you can sit with your families and in this portion we have a small bathroom and there is a shower and there is a basin so here we have fully utilized this floor so in this first floor we have the bedroom over this portion and we have drawing room and we have this bathroom so let's draw this first floor so here I have placed all these components in this first floor so in this portion I have placed a bed so here I have placed this TV set and in this portion and you can put the drawers and here there will be a big cupboard so you can use this room for study purpose and we have the door in this side so here in this portion I'm going to place a door for the entry in this room so double click on this landing and press pull up to this end point and here in this portion also you need to make a wall so by help of this rectangle draw the lines over here and double click to make a group and here also double click to make a group and again double click and press pull it to this end point here also do the same thing double click to edit this group and press pull it to this end point so you can easily place a door now so I'm just again going to make a line over this surface and again press pull this to this end point so that you can place a door so I'm simply going to copy this door so double click on this door and by help of this M and control key drag this door and orbit it and move it here and again scale it so you can adjust this door but here you can see these extra lines so click on this explode option so here you will be able to erase these lines now we are going to make the veranda for this room so to make the veranda double click on this group and by the help of this tape tool drag this line on the blue axis and type 3 feet again orbit it and again drag this tape up to 3 feet in this blue axis again do the same thing in this axis so drag this tape up to 3 feet and create a line over here so draw the line over this intersection points now if you want to make a circular handrail then draw the circle or you can also make a rectangle and type 0.5 inch and here we have this follow me tool and click on the surface of the circle and just drag it to this line where we need this handrail 
Now we need to draw the rectangle over this face. So I'm going to drag the rectangle of 1 inch, comma 1 inch. So press pull it. So type P to press pull and press pull up to this end point. So you can click on this and right click to make a group. I will copy this and move it by 3 feet and type into 8. So I have 8 number of these guardrails. So I have these two extra so I can easily delete them. And again in this side also I will copy this guardrail. So I am simply going to use M and Ctrl key and drag this and place, place it over here. And again by help of this M and Ctrl key drag it and type 3 feet. By clicking on this Ctrl key select these two guardrails and copy it to this another side and place it here. So I'll adjust it by help of this move tool, by help of this tape tool and on this blue axis you can type 8 inch by help of the tape tool again drag this tape and type 2 feet and 6 inch. Now you can make a rectangle over this surface and you can double click to make a group and again double click to edit this group and press pull it by 1 inch and you can also use this color of the glass. So here you can choose the glass and mirrors and choose any color that you want. And also you can increase the opacity. So here I have placed the glass on both sides. So here our terrace is ready. You can also use the different type of the door on this side for the terrace. You can delete this door and select another type of the door. So here I have placed some plants and these sofa in this veranda portion. You can click on this floor and erase it. Now we need to make the second floor and for this I'll again copy this and place it here. So in this second floor we are going to make a kitchen and here is a veranda so let's make it. So in this kitchen portion I'm not going to make this bathroom. So for this I'm going to draw the line over here and over here and I'll delete this door and other components. So to erase this door simply you need to do is double click on this group and press pull it so you can easily press pull it and you can delete this line by help of your eraser tool or simply click on delete from your keyboard I have erased this bathroom portion now we can easily place all the kitchen components so here I have placed all the kitchen components and here is our dining room and here is our entry gate for this kitchen and we can also easily enter this veranda portion so we can easily make this kitchen and next is our top floor that is in this roof floor we don't need this staircase so I'm just going to delete all these stairs and we also don't need this landing I will erase this landing portion and here we won't need this windows and doors because it is our terrace level so I'll erase all these doors and windows except in this staircase portion so I need to press pull and remove all the holes so you can easily press pull and remove all the holes but we know that our parapet height is smaller so I will draw a line over this surface and in this surface and here also I need to draw the line because except this portion I need to press pull all these parts and you can also press pull this portion because we will have door so we can put the door and draw the line over this portion also up to this side and it is this unnecessary lines you can also draw the line over here and press pull it and it is this line now double click in this group and you can draw the line over this pillar and press pull it up to this is here also you can draw the rectangle and press pull it and click on this end point so it will be of equal height again press pull it to this height and it is these lines so you can create any designs that you like here also I'm going to make a rectangle over this surface and press pull it to this end and here also I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to press pull this line up to this end point here also just draw a rectangle of one feet and press pull it to this end point and it is these lines you can also edit and delete all the guides now by help of the tape tool Drag this tape up to this midpoint and again drag another line in the blue axis and type 5 inch and you can draw the circle 
of 0.5 inch and you can double click to make a group and again double click to edit these groups so you can easily press pull this up to this end point again drag the tape and type 3 inch now select this and by help of this M and control key place it here and type into 5 so here you, we will have these guardrails again do the same thing on this side this side and this side so I have made railings on all the sides you can also adjust these walls by double clicking on this and press pull up to some height so here in the terrace you can put some flowers decks pictures lights etc and after you finish putting all the components make a group make the group in all these floors so after you make a group we need to make a slab so without double clicking on this group we will drag a rectangle for drawing the slab in this portion also we will draw the rectangle draw the rectangle over all these surface but here in the staircase we don't need these slabs so just remove it now you can erase these extra lines and you can simply press pull it by 4 inch now you need to click on the multiple times so here you will see the blue color line in all these edges and right click to make a group it can be easily moved now again double click to edit this group now you can easily press pull these edges up to 1 feet again press pull this side surface and click on this end point so it will be of equal length so here also you can press pull it up to 1 feet so you can easily color this now you can easily adjust this slab so just click on this end point and move to this end so that this landing and the slab will be in the same level so here you can also make some designs below this slab so just double click on this slab and by help of this tape tool drag a line 7 inch and again drag another line of 7 inch so here you can make a rectangle over this surface again draw the line of 7 inch and you can copy to this side and type into 6 so here you can easily press pull this surface up to 2 inch you can also double click on this surface to press pull and you can also put the light in between them now we can easily copy this slab by help of the M and control key select the end point and place it here do the same thing for the next floor but here in this terrace level we are going to make the slab over this portion to this portion and double click on this surface to make a group and again double click press pull it by 4 inch now just double click on this line so that you can easily move this type M and drag this end point up to this intersection line now again by help of this M and control key drag this end point and place it in this intersection point now again move this top floor to this intersection line so here in this ground floor you can also make some pillars so you can draw the rectangle of 1 feet comma 1 feet and press pull it to this end point again click on this pillar and make a group and copy it to this end point so in this remaining land I have placed some fins and some grasses so here I have placed some flowers so that it will look more attractive so here in this way we have completed this full building tutorial for SketchUp so here if you like the video please do like share and subscribe